Uh, this was from the 33rdteam.com, and that is a group of former NFL executives, couple of general managers, um, top 25 players under 25. And uh, so they have the Denzel Ward uh, of the Browns in the third tier, best of the rest. I think that's a little low for him. I, I think, and again, it, he, he may be getting penalized because last year was really the first year where he was able to play pretty much a whole season. When he's healthy, I, I think he showed he's one of the better cornerbacks in the league. I, I know the Browns are paying him like it, but I, he's a really good young player who doesn't seem to be getting some of the respect nationally that he deserves. I would tend to agree. I, I, I Obviously, I think he's very deserving to be on the list. Where he was, though, I kind of tried to look at who else was on here that maybe I'd move up or down a peg. One of the people that one of the guys that stands out to me Kyler Murray, like, I think we all have this idea that Kyler Murray is great and he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but he has, he has yet to prove it, especially late in the season, that he can, you know, be that franchise guy and really carry a carry a team to that, that next level and, and chase Super Bowls. Another guy that kind of surprised me was Micah Parsons being literally in the top 10 after one season. I mean, Denzel, yeah, there's the injury stuff um, with him, but... I mean, Micah Parsons has been in the league one year, and he's already in the top ten. That kind of surprised me a little bit too. But yeah, listen, there's no doubt the injuries is is, is probably playing a role here. I would guess, and uh, he certainly this is a big year for for Denzel to come out, especially after getting paid, getting the contract extension, to come out and and you know prove he can stay healthy, he can be out there for a full season. I got a little nervous at the end of uh, at, at the yep. end of uh, mandatory minicamp. When he had the foot injury, but it sounds like any conflict there was averted. So that's good news heading to training camp. Yeah, I'm with you. I I, I saw that and I, I saw him looking at his foot and I'm like that's never good with a guy that <laughs> runs all over the place.